Hello! It's been a while. Um, sorry about that. As you can see, I'm in a different spot. Again, I'm back to... Back to where I was when I originally started shooting these things. Back in January, so it's like, what, four... Is it four months or is it five months? Because it's... Well, I guess it's basically five months, because June's tomorrow. So, yeah. So, here we are. It's, uh, May 31st. Uh, almost five months into this endeavor, um, and, well, yeah, sorry, it's been about four weeks since I last did a video, and, um, yeah, it's just been, I had everything set up in our bedroom, um, and just with, like, our schedules and stuff, it was, the only time I could really get around to recording was at night, um, and then, of course, I can't really talk that loud at night um so it kind of got kind of tough there um then eventually I had to convince my wife that hey can I move the computer out into our living room area um so I was able to finally get that all done get it all moved and get everything set up finally um yeah so it, it took a little bit to kind of get everything in order I, I thought we had I thought moving in the bedroom was going to help but it ended up being more of a problem than a, than a solution um because the big thing is that we have we've got four dogs and i can't really trust them <laughs> um they they're they're getting better and better but um they do like to destroy things like um i have a i have a stylus for um my computer this is like the little stand for it um one of them decided to jump on the table the other day and take the stylus and they all got together and destroyed it which is awesome um because it's not cheap so back to using a uh, a mouse for now um but yeah uh what have i been doing for the last month um still continuing with diet obviously um the the gym I haven't been going as much as I'd like to. Uh, stupid. Um, the last couple weeks I've been going like once or twice a week. Um, because I didn't go for a while. Um, so, yeah. I, I'm getting back into it more in the last week or two-ish. Uh, but there was a couple weeks where I didn't go. There was... One of the, I says, one of the reasons why I didn't make a video is because uh, I'm waiting to hear back from the doctor about something. Um, but I guess no news is good news in a sense. So th there was just, yeah, there was something going on and um, we're just getting it checked and seeing, uh, seeing where it is. It's nothing too serious at the moment. Um, but we're just monitoring some stuff. Uh, so that kind of played into my recording. I was in a bit of a shitty mood for a week or two um, with worrying about stuff. Um, yeah, it's kind of related to everything that has been going on for the last six months or so. Um, it's also kind of related to uh, just my stupidity as a young person. Um you know, things, things catch up with you eventually. So yeah, that, that's, uh, that kind of, kind of put me in a weird place. And, um, I was kind of waiting to hear back on some tests and stuff, but I haven't heard anything. So, um, I haven't completely given up and said, Oh, I'm, I'm fine. But like I say, no news is good news for now. Um, but I have, uh, one thing that has been going on, um, is my love for football uh, or soccer as some people like to call it um I, I i don't know if i can't remember if i brought this up in a video but anyways i started playing rec league um i started playing tuesday nights in a men's or sorry in a uh, co-ed seven aside um and if you've seen any stuff on my Instagram, you'll see I've been posting more and more little things about footy. Um, 
I've, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing. It's been something that I've wanted to do to get back into for a number of years. Um, I, I used to play when I was a kid, and then I played again um, when I was in school. Uh, and then the last few years, I haven't been able to, and then my weight got out of hand, and then, you know, running is an impossibility. Um, so I was, I was kind of waiting to maybe in the fall or something, I would, I would, uh, hopefully have enough weight loss that I could go out and start playing. Cause usually I play like defense or midfield. Um, so it's a lot of running around. It's a lot of, it's really tough on the knees. It's some really good cardio. Um, and so I was, I was kind of waiting and I was talking to some of my friends, um, about, you know, hopefully, hopefully by the fall. And then my one buddy's like, why don't you just play goal for now? And, well, I had never thought about that. Um, I think partly because I tried playing goalie in hockey once. And this is back in the day when we had those, like, super heavy brown leather pads that were filled with all kinds of heavy padding. Um, and I had the hardest time getting up. Like, after going down for a save, trying to get back up was impossible. And I was like, fuck this. I am not going to be a goalie. Um that and also JD was our goalie and he was fantastic. And we had other goalies too. So so I never really got into it. I, I enjoyed um I enjoyed hitting people and, and scoring more. So um but yeah, I uh I I listened to what my friend said and I was like, Yeah, okay, why not? It, it, instead of waiting, I can I can get involved now, I can start playing now and you know, get some rest off and everything. So um Today is Thursday, I think. Yeah, Thursday. So Tuesday was our fifth game of the season. We are, no, sorry, sixth, sixth game of the season. Holy crap. Uh, we are three and three after our six weeks. That's insane. Now that I think about it. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we're three and three. Um, two games. It can't be three and three. Let me, hold on it friggin second that can't be i'm gonna pull up our league schedule here i think we're gonna play five games has to be five games if it's six i'm amazed doesn't feel like we played six um uh, yeah sorry sorry for how boring this part is oh we have played six <laughs> crazy so we're we are three and three uh two clean sheets by the way two of them um and for those of you who don't know what a clean sheet is, it is also known as a shutout. So, two games managed to not concede any goals. However, in the other four games, uh, we have conceded 11 goals. Um, yeah. We lost two games. <laughs> Let me go through our schedule here. Uh... Okay, so our first game, first game, we lost 1-0. Second game, we lost 3-0. <laughs> Third game, we won 5-0. Yeah, that was a big game. It was awesome. Uh, next game, we won 2-0. And then the next game, we were... Heavily, heavily defeated 6-0. Um, to say I was not a happy person at the end of that game is an understatement. Uh, like, that sucked. Get scored on six times in, in two 25-minute halves. It sucks. Um, and then just this just this past Tuesday, we won 2-1. Um, we went up 1-0 and then conceded a goal. I, 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 it was a low shot. Just to my right, I was I was down, ready to pounce, and as the shot came in, I I went low and across, and it just beat my hand. Um, that's the one thing that I've that I've been learning as I've been playing more and more goal uh, is that my ability to get down fast is not very good. Um, that's one thing I've been trying to work on. Been trying to work on that. I've been trying to work on my uh, my goal kicks. Um, the first couple or the first week that we played, so, um, I'll just preface this. I have had a GoPro set behind my net almost every single game to record footage. And one of these days I'm going to get around to 
editing something together and showing you guys um, showing you guys how terrible I am. <laughs> but it's uh, it just it helps me for uh, for going back and looking at position and stuff and getting my angles right. Um, sorry that this has become the uh, the soccer show because uh, I know this is about keto and fitness and losing weight. But this is part of it for me. Part of it is is exercise and uh, and living a, a a healthy life and and having activity and stuff. So this is now part of it, um, and it will probably continue to be a larger part of it um, as time goes on. I'm sure I'll talk more and more about this game as I as I become more and more fit. Um, so yeah, sorry. Um, so the the first week we played, um, my my goal kicks were terrible. I could maybe kick a ball twenty feet. My form was awful. I had, I had my mechanics were all messed up. Uh, my shoes that I bought were also too long. So when you're striking the ball, you want to kind of hit it off of uh, like this area of the foot, you know, not on the toes, but sort of in the in the meaty area, kind of where your laces are. Um, so that's where I want to kick, but with my with my shoes being too long, that meant my as I was kicking, my foot had to come further up. Um, so I was putting everything off of my toes, and God, it was like I wasn't toe blasting, but I was put I was kicking off the top of my like my big toe, and that really hurts. Um, it really hurts, and all the energy basically goes into the toe, into the joint, and none of the energy goes into the ball, so the ball doesn't go very far. So. Um, after the first week I had a, so the, the shoes I bought were used shoes, um, from Play Again Sports, shout out to them. Um, and I liked them, they were, they were really nice, but they were a little too big. I kind of forgot that footy shoes are supposed to fit, 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 um, and not like a running shoe. Um, so I got another pair of shoes, luckily enough I was able to trade mine in and and actually got some money back for them uh so i got another pair and they were better um they were they fit me better but they they were they're kind of cramping my feet and hurting my feet a little bit but i was kind of just kind of getting by um would go out a couple nights a week work on my work on my kick work on some conditioning and stuff on top of going to the gym every few days whatever um and trying to get some conditioning in and trying to get stronger um because i did lose a lot I did lose a lot uh, for those two months. Those two months when I was down, um, I lost a lot of strength in my legs and everything. Um, and then I was sick for those couple weeks. So it, like, it's just only been the last maybe month that I've been able to kind of really start going back somewhat on a regular basis. Like if I look at my, if I look at my logs um, for my workout, sorry, this is a weird segue, but kind of makes sense so from <laughs> okay so that app just froze hilarious so from january so january um Month of January from the fourth to twenty fifth, I missed one, two, three, four, five, six days. I missed six days out of basically twenty days. Then February was a little less, uh, or sorry, it was a little less days at the gym. I only did seven days in February at the gym. March no days whatsoever because February is when I started getting getting kind of sick and my feet were starting to act up. And I had all those. That's when I had the blood pressure scaring all that shit. So February was kind of shit. March missed it completely because I was on my back on the couch. Um, April, I didn't get back until the 20th. And that was only one day in April that I was able to get back to the gym. And then they got sick. Um, May, I had three days in May at the gym. And this is awful looking back at all this stuff. So I had three days at the, at the gym in May. Um, yeah. So, gotta correct that. But anyways, so... Um, so I've been working on, like I said, I've been going out and getting like training and stuff um, out on my own at nighttime. Sometimes my wife comes comes with me and helps me and stuff. So I've been like trying to work on that. Um, and then just this past week, 
I got another pair of boots, um, some New Balance. They're really, really nice, and they were, we got them on sale uh, for like 40 bucks. They're this pair. They're normally like a $250 shoe, and I think the place I got them from, it's just like a second, like some of the, stitch, some of the stitching is wrong or something. Um, so it's not something that New Balance could sell because there's an imperfection, but they're great. They're, they're great. Um, so fast forward to now this week. I've been improving and improving and improving. And this week, I'm now kicking the ball from my goal box into the other, uh, well, not goal box, but like my penalty area. I can kick into the other team's penalty area, um, which is great. It's, it's like, what, 60, 70 yards I can kick now. Because um, back many years ago, when I, when I, used, to, when I used to play, I... Um, I used to have a pretty a pretty good shot. Um, I, I was quite accurate. I, I remember I had set this thing up at my mom and dad's house on the on the side of our, our big shed that we had in the backyard. I'd painted a big net, and I painted like little squares in the corners and stuff. And I would just stand outside every day and and just like practice curling. And this is like I was like a twenty something year old guy too, so I'm not just like a little kid. I was like an adult and just standing outside and just kicking a ball up against a wall, um, practicing curling it, uh, just practicing my x practicing for power. Um, so I, 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 I had kind of really worked on that for a long time, and then I've lost it over the last couple of years. And then with my legs and stuff being all messed up this year, um, having trouble walking up downstairs, everything, it's, it, everything's been wrong with my legs and my back. And so I've been finally kind of fixing that. Um, and part of the thing that's been helping me is, even though I haven't been to the gym a lot, um, what I have been doing in the last few weeks is this um, this exercise that, uh, uh, not exercise, but like a routine that's inspired by uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, it's something that, I don't know if it, he does it exactly. I, I saw some things from his documentary, um, so picked up a few things from there, but then also read a bunch of things online and um, different Different people suggesting that this is probably what he does. And also, according to like some of the footage that people have seen him, this is sort of a routine. I'm not saying I'm going to look like him anytime soon. But what I will say is that this has been this has helped strengthen my legs so much in the last week. And it's nothing really new. Um, it, it is just a continuation of everything that I have been doing. But it's the fact that I'm, I'm kind of doing this all, with a different sort of mentality. Um, I, I'm going, instead of doing stuff to failure, um, I, I can't remember the guy's name, but there is a Russian or Ukrainian, um, kettlebell guru. I can't remember his name right now. Joe Rogan talks about him. Um, and his philosophy is about putting in the same amount of work that you would do to failure, like however many reps and sets, but instead of doing all the work to failure, doing more sets, um, doing more sets of less reps so that way you can do more power and and not be tired um while you're like instead of instead of getting to like 8 9 10 11 and going to failure where you're getting like nothing out of the movement anymore taking a step back and just doing like five or six with as much energy as you can that way you're getting more strength of it this is the mentality he has and i've i honestly i've only been doing this for a few weeks now um, changing to like this style. Um, and I, I have noticed just more strength in my legs. Um, like I have, I used to have a hard time going up and down stairs. You can see those stairs right over here. Um, I'd have to take one step at a time. Now I can just walk up. No problem. And I'm still, I'm still quite heavy. Um, that's another thing I'll get into. Um, I'm not losing as much weight as I, as I was earlier in the year. I, I'm not losing it as, as at a, as fast as a rate as I was at one point. I, I, I'm trying to figure... I know I made a mistake last week, and I'll get into that, but um, i trying to figure out some some issues um, so I can correct that and and get things on a, on a better trajectory as far as weight loss goes. But strength-wise, musculature-wise, things are getting better. And I am getting smaller. Um, I, like, f- I, I can see myself when I'm wearing clothes and stuff. I am getting smaller all the time. Um, but I am just, you know, uh, still not dropping the weight as fast as I'd like to. One of the problems, I'll come back to what I was saying before. One of the problems is last week, <clears throat> um, 
which is a, a, a typical failure of mine. Um, you kind of pat yourself on the back for doing good work. Um, so as it stands right now, I'm down 45 pounds from the beginning of the year, which is good. Down 45. <clears throat> um, so what's that? Two, <laughs> two, three. Well, the reason why I don't remember, <clears throat> I'm down 45. However, caveat to that. Um, I put on a shit ton of water last week. Um, and, and, um, yeah, it was stupid. We went to the movies twice last week and both times, um, I just, I broke, I really wanted popcorn. I haven't had popcorn in a long time. Uh, we had smelt it somewhere a few days before that. I was like, oh man, popcorn smells good. So I went to the movies, I ate popcorn and of course it's a bunch of carbs which is stupid for me but on top of that is all of the salt and that's one thing i want to really talk about today is water retention and salt and sodium all that fun shit um i've basically been trying to stay away from as much sodium as possible for a while and it's been working for me because i have had a little a few influxes of oh i ate like a bunch of salty shit and and now look at all this weight, all this water weight I've put on. <clears throat> um, uh, and that's actually, I, I haven't been eating bacon for at least a month, I think. I might have had it once or twice. Yeah, my wife has bought me breakfast a couple times and I've had it then. But like I'm not making it, uh, I'm not buying it and all stuff just because of all the extra sodium. I still love it, but it's just all the sodium. So I've been really trying to watch the sodium intake uh, just because I know of like, what that'll do uh because here's a number for you 400 milligrams of salt which is basically a pinch of salt um is equal to about two pounds of water that your body is going to retain from that salt so think about that think about all the stuff that you eat if you like a bag of chips all kinds of shit um like one of the reasons why i put on a bunch of weight with water a few uh several weeks ago was I ate some pickles one day. I was super hungry and I really wanted some pickles. I, 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 uh, you know, I just, I was craving having that, you know, that salty briny, uh, pickle. And I, I think I ate, I basically ate the equivalent of two whole pickles. They're these, uh, pickle, uh, wedges, but I ate the equivalent of two whole pickles. And after I ate it, I then went and looked back at the nutritional information and found out that one spear, one quarter uh, it was 240 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> um, so from that, I put on like eight pounds of water. So anyways, going back to this past week, being an idiot, um, had two bags of popcorn. And of course, go big or go home. I'm eating a large bag of popcorn at the movies. Um, and I've hated myself for it ever since because I, I put on 12 pounds of water, um, from i didn't do it it was like and we went like monday and wednesday or something like that but anyways either way it was two days last week that i had a giant bag of popcorn and all that salt turned into a bunch of stored water in my body and i'm still to today i'm still still dealing with it i'm still got a couple pounds left of water uh but the fun thing is the only way to get rid of water is by drinking more water it's weird but what's your, your body has to flush all this stuff out um, all the sodium out. So in able to do it, it has, it needs you to process everything. So yeah, been drinking as much water as I possibly can water. Um, and definitely going to the gym helps because the gym I'll go through 64, at least 64 ounces of water at the gym. If not a hundred and six, 96, that's what I'm going to say. 96. Somewhere between 64 and 96 ounces of water I will drink while I'm at the gym with this new exercise. And this new exercise, see we're all coming back full circle full circle here. This new exercise with everything I just spoke about, this is what I'm doing. Uh, dumbbell squats, I do five sets of five reps. And I'm doing, I did 50 pounds this week. So I, I hold 50 pounds and I do five sets of five reps each. Um... Then I do dumbbell lunges, which uh, I do five sets of three reps um, for each leg. And 
that I'm just using body weight for lunges because lunges, lunges I still struggle with because of my knees. Um, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to strengthen my knees and it is, it's working. Like I said, having trouble going up, up and down stairs. Um, this has been helping me go up and down stairs. I even descent, just dis, as much as going upstairs is hard, descending stairs has been tougher for me. And that's something where I've de- even depending on the stairs, I sometimes do have to still do step by step. Um, but with doing this training and getting my legs and my knees stronger, I have been able to start going down, um, one step per leg, as opposed to take a step and then match that step with a leg and then lead off with a leg and then match that step. Instead of going down one at a time, I'm now starting to like take a stride down. Like you would normally go up and down stairs. So this is helping. Um, it's definitely strengthening stuff, but I, am not adding, I'm not adding any weight to my lunge just because I need to get my knees stronger. And plus I've got enough weight that my knees can use anyways. Um, so then I go into, so this is all, this is all one day. It takes about two hours to do this entire workout. Um, I then do stiff leg, uh, dumbbell deadlift, which is you just do one leg, and do a deadlift to it. So I do five sets, five reps, 45 pounds of that. Um, then I do a, oh, sorry. So that's, so that, oh my God, I, I got messed up there. So I do the squats, I do lunges, then I do a deadlift. Then after the deadlift, then I do a, a single leg uh, deadlift um, just to work the legs in a slightly different manner. Uh, and I do 45, I do five, five, 45 of that. And then I go down and I start doing some core, uh, strength, strengthening. So I do five sets of knee raises. Um, and I try to get 10 reps if I can. Um, I haven't been getting 10 all the way through. Um, I've got this week was 10 for the first three sets, then nine and seven, just because it's your abs and they're starting to hurt. Then I do five sets of leg raises. I do three leg raises, do three leg raises because I'm it's still attacking that same area. So you're feeling the lactic acid build up quite quickly. Um, then I do a cross body crunch, do five of those, three reps or three reps for each side by five. Um, then I do five sets of 10 crunches. And then I do five sets of planks uh, as long as I possibly can. And the most I'm getting is 20 seconds, but it's between 10 and 15 seconds for the rest. So those, what, five exercises. But at that point, my abdominal area is well and truly feeling it. <laughs> then um, then I go to the assisted uh, pull-up machine and I throw 200 pounds resistance on there so that way my body is uh well that's the maximum that thing has on it anyways so although all the exercises i do have a 200 pound resistance on it which is basically me meaning my body uh my arms everything is uh is lifting like 130 pounds instead of trying to lift 330 pounds um so i do five sets everything is is everything's five sets everything's five sets of everything uh but then i do uh, so i'll do five pull-ups and then five sets of five then i do uh, five sets of three chin-ups. Um, then I do five sets of five dips, all on the assisted machine. Um, then I'll go do uh, five times five bar uh, uh, bench press. I've been doing dumbbells for that just to to get any imbalance out of my arms because I still I'm still a little imbalanced on both sides. Um, and then I do uh, alternating bicep curls, five sets of three and that's i'm doing 35 pounds um and then depending on depending on the week i'm either doing a bike or elliptical for some some interval training afterwards so this week i did 20 minutes or sorry only i only had time for 15 minutes after all that i only had time for 15 minutes on elliptical um i did 15 minutes of intervals i would go for 30 seconds as hard as i could and then it, between a minute and minute 30 to get my heart rate back down to a good level. And then I do another 30 seconds as hard as I could. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty good workout. Um, it does the first, the first time I did it, the first time I did it, it took a number of days to recover. Um, I think 
I think it was like four days or something before I felt like I didn't want to die anymore because uh, it was like quite the shock to the system. Oh, and I'm going to add shoulders to that as well. This, uh, not necessarily to that, but I'm going to incorporate more shoulder exercises just to, just to round it out. The one thing I have noticed is that um, like before when I'd be standing, my arms would get forced out to the side a bit like this, but now my arms do tuck in closer to my body as I'm standing, which is nice. Um, so that's good. Uh, I don't know if I had anything else to talk about today. There's been, there's been like, I know it's been a long time, but there hasn't been like a serious amount of things that have gone on. Um, like I say, I've had a couple of struggles with water. Um, that's been a real pain in the ass. Um, I, I had a nice little stretch there where I, or I dropped some, some more body fat really quick. I am going to do measurements this week. I swear. Um, so I'll get, I'll get some measurements done up and, and get something, get another video posted the next few days, let you guys know where it is. But there's definitely, there's definitely been, um, improvements, uh, body weight wise, uh, muscle growth wise, my measurements, uh, there, there's been improvements, um, which is good. Um, like I say that the two months, the two months I lost really, really affected me. Um, I, I was on, I was on such a good trajectory. I was in a very good frame of mind. Um, then that kind of hit me really hard. And this, the last month's been kind of stop and start trying to get going again. Um, and then there was like the little bit of a medical thing we had to deal with. So it's, it's been a bit of stop and start, but I'm looks all things considered looks like I'm getting kind of back into a groove. I do need to incorporate the gym a bit more uh, than I have been. And I know that's something that I have to do. Um, schedules have been a bit tough a little bit lately just with everything that I, I, I got going on. So, um, but that's something I got to keep reminding myself that, uh, health has to come first that, you know, as much as everything else will kind of, as much as I'll get busy with other things and, and they'll start taking up my time. I got to remember to, to put the time in at the gym cause I need it. It's, you know, as much as everything else my life needs me for the things me this guy i need gym i need gym i need good food um yeah so stay away from salt kids it'll fuck you up and drink lots of water lots and lots and lots of water um yeah okay Oh, Liverpool lost the Champions League final. Sad day. I shaved my beard, too. I gotta cut my hair. I cut my hair today. It's getting poofy. Alright. Uh, JD, shout out to you, because you kept bugging me about getting this video done, so it's done. Alright. Love you. Peace, everybody. I will talk to you soon. I keep looking down. <laughs> <laughs>